Welcome back, Chemistry 30. This is the last part of the 18.2 booklet. So hopefully you had a, had a chance to finish this last one. If we want an increased amount of H2O to happen, here we have H2O on the left-hand side. So, <coughs> so we'd want things to move to the left this time. So in this case, we'd want to try to force our seesaw to look like this so that things will move in this direction to make more H2O. So in terms of heat, if the question is you're only allowed to manipulate heat, obviously if we increase the amount of heat we had, that would make this side heavy by increasing heat and want to shift things to the left. So increase heat, we try to use it up, and as a result, everything on the left would increase, everything on the right would decrease, if I was to figure out what the KEQ value, I'd get a smaller number because I have more reactants than products. Okay. Why does changing the volume of the reaction vessel have no effect? So in changing the volume is the same thing as increasing or decreasing pressure. If we take a look at what we have here, we have a gas and a solid. We only include the gas, one and we have one on the right so since there's an equal number of molecules of gas there's no effect with pressure or volume changes this next one how would an increase in pressure and an increase in temperature affect this the enthalpy is negative 220 so that's the same thing as saying it's an exothermic reaction so if I increase heat the system will try to decrease it or use it up so everything is out of whack this way if I added heat so things would move to the right left sorry with heat if I'm looking at pressure increasing pressure would cause things to move in the direction that would reduce pressure i.e. the side with fewer molecules which is the right hand side so we'd move things that way. So since there's a conflict there, and we're not sure which one overtakes the other, we can't determine the answer. Because both stresses are working in opposition to each other. Okay, so that's it. So here we have the final question, the final vocab, Le Chatelier's principle. When a stress is applied to system, the system adjusts to minimize the effect. So whatever stress you have, the automatic response is to do the opposite, to replace, sort, so to undo what has been done, and it shifts in the direction in order to do that. So for example, if I increased A here, the system would try to use up A by moving to the right. And again, if you can think of it in terms of this, a seesaw, it always works out. Increasing A is increasing the weight on the left-hand side, so to alleviate that stress, things would move in this direction for this particular example. Okay, I do have an, a practice sheet that you may want to do before doing the test. 18.1, or sorry, 18.2 study guide. Just come and grab that, try that out. I have posted answers because this stuff can be a little bit tricky so if you want to take a look at that and try that before doing the quiz that would be great okay we'll see you soon